guys very good evening to all of you so the time is up and uh, finally i have to move from this place this place was uh, actually for a temporary basis and uh, as you know that i have purchased a car and with the car there comes a lot of responsibility that is your parking and safe parking for your car basically that so for that i have to move to one of my friends apartment and you know him his name is omkar babekar so he has moved to uh, toronto and now i will move to his place near algonquin college so that's how it's going and that's why i'm not able to make a lot of vlog uh, i you like look at my place i'm just dismantling everything it's all dirty it's all crappy but guys the thing is I am strong and I am moving out by myself and probably I'll take some of my friends help but I don't think so I will need because I have already packed a lot of stuff and uh, let's see next video will be from my new place and I want to show you how living in a townhouse is and uh, what all things come along with townhouse the problems the facilities the uh benefits of living in a townhouse and all those things so wish me luck i will see you in the new place so this is my vehicle and actually it has a good boot space so this thing saved me a lot guys i'm telling you a car is like having a blessing So guys finally I am here at my new place and as you can see my car is behind me and it has a parking area over here so that was my primary reason to move here and uh, you can see there is a fully attached townhouse behind me and this is the place where I will be staying and uh, as you know this place uh, was formerly uh, owned by Omkar so Omkar had the lease and now it has been taken over one of by one of my classmates and uh, she is residing here i will be living here and two more guys are there so it it's going to be fun and i wanted to tell you about types of townhouses that we have over here in canada so this is called a fully attached townhouse so attached townhouse means like you will be sharing more than one wall with another house so this is the uh, attached townhouse uh, setting and on the corner you will have a semi attached townhouse that means only one wall will be shared by a neighbor or another house and there is another which is called as fully detached townhouse that means like no walls will be attached to your townhouse and you will have a uh, ample of space around your home you will have your backyard you will have your front front yard and all those things so this is something that i wanted to show you and let's go inside now and let's see how this apartment looks sorry townhouse looks and uh, we will experience how living in a townhouse is much more different than living in an apartment and what are the benefits of living in a townhouse so let's go ahead and check it out so guys uh this is the entrance here we have parked our cars and now we are moving inside this is the main entrance so here you have the closet space so in winters you need to take out all your winter jackets winter shoes over here and uh, we have some shoe rack we need a bigger shoe rack over here there is one washroom and over here you have your heater boiler system so and aapka uh, introduction de do sir Harpreet, I am from Punjab. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we we are living on the same floor. And here you can see as we have the washer and dryer over here itself. This is the heating unit. So you can turn off your heater and everything. Turn on, turn off from over here. And uh, next to this is Ashwarya's room. And uh, this is the washroom uh, that is only used by the girls. So now we are moving up on the level 1 here we have our kitchenette and uh, this is a 
nice kitchen setting actually uh here you have the entire kitchen space pretty big and then you have the living area which is pretty cool i have my small setup over here for time being and the best thing is this patio so we do come here in the morning and chill we do have like coffee and things over here this is the best part guys like having an open space of your own uh in a house it's very important and in most of the apartments you don't have those things and uh, some apartments do have a balcony but look at the size of this like it is huge it is pretty big so that's something that i really appreciate about this place and now going up to my room these two fans are of no use but uh, here we have our other washroom which is not totally set yet but uh, yeah so this is the washroom as you have met harpreet he lives in this room and i live over here i have tried to set it up but still a lot of work is needed to be done like i want full curtain over here to cover my entire wardrobe and i am removing my slippers over here because i have cleaned everything pretty well and this is my setup for now my laptop will be on that corner my screen is here backlight is there and i have some lights under it and from here i have this window looking down at the patio and these are the houses and guys uh is i have moved near algonquin college uh so I know it is a bit further away from my office. Uh I will have to travel around 12 kilometers or 13 kilometers all the way to Gatineau to uh attend my office. But uh the best thing is like I have all the groceries, uh grocery store, I have my parking over here, I have friends over here. So that's a good thing like you know right now I'm not concerned about traveling that much because I have purchased a car. but uh, this is something that uh is a beneficial thing when you have people around you when you have a good space you have good chilling area also because as you have seen in my previous apartment there was barely any space uh to gather around and to chill with people but here i have a pretty good amount of space the size of this room is around 13 by 10 so 13 feet uh, long and 10 feet wide i have a proper wardrobe space so that is something that i really appreciate plus the washing and the drying thing is really really important over here like i have a, a washer dryer also and a dish washing machine is also there so that is a, like you know plus on on whatever i have over here so this these are the things that i like about this place the heating is also good but we are trying to get it repaired because my room is a bit colder than the other apartments but overall this entire place is really cool and uh, i don't think so everyone is out here but i will really uh make a video of uh, introduction of all my roommates and all my housemates over here so this uh entire house will be my new youtube studio i will be making a lot of videos over here a lot of videos out there and uh, i hope you like this and uh, right now i am paying around 750 dollars for a room over here and the entire house rent is around 23 2200 dollars so yeah so that that's what you get in around 23 2400 dollars like it has around uh two five rooms and uh, two parking spots and uh, the utility costs comes to around like because we are around five people sharing this entire apartment so the utility cost comes to around 60 70 dollars per person so according to that you can calculate like how much your rent would be and uh, if you have any kinds of doubts or queries or anything you can mention it in the comment section and guys don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to my channel i will keep making such 
interesting and helpful video for all of you and if you need to find any rental apartments or anything you can go and link uh, look in my description so i have mentioned few of the links where you can find these apartments and where you can find even rooms uh, there are few facebook groups also that you can join to find apartmental rooms and all those things so go ahead look in the description and uh, keep supporting archivlog see you soon guys take care of yourself bye bye